play for Lisbon Ladies. I'm Stacey Murdoch and I'm centre midfield. The earliest thing I can remember is probably primary school. Every like every day with the boys, I'd been the first one out at lunchtime playing with them. Um, I was that typical tomboy, always wanting to be around the boys, playing football with the boys. Um, that would probably be my earliest memory that way. And I think because my brother loved football, that's where I initially grew into it. Um, and then after school I would have been out with the boys straight away playing football as well. My first team I did go to was a boys team. My brother brought me to it and I remember at that time I was really shy and timid. I was too scared to go into the team but he did push me into the boys team and I remember the first match we actually played was quite competitive and I scored my first goal and I remember the feeling after, I was like, I love this, I want to play more. So I did play with the boys team for quite a bit, um, for I'd say about a year or so. So there was no girls teams about um, and then when Lisburn Ladies founded in 2010, it was the only local team in Lisburn at that time and it was only the one team. So I translationed from the boys team to the girls team and I've been there ever since. And then at that time, we went into the NIWFA in Division 4, and we've worked our way up from there. The experience has been challenging because you do have the ups and downs, but because I have been with Lisburn for such a long time, and that there's been about eight or nine players that have been there from the start. So as much as we are a club, we are family because we've been through the highs and the lows together and every player that has come in to us, like we're all as one. Always there would never be any groups or anything like that. Um, so I think going through the leagues and we're there for one another when you get be or when you're winning matches and you're on that high. Um, but it has been great. I think it does make you as a player quite resilient. It's such a high standard of football. But with that, that's somewhere where I'm going to be playing at week in week out and I think you're playing against the best players in the country and I do think every player should want to strive for that um, and it, with the things that Niffle does for social media it does highlight how professional the league is coming and it highlights our club as well and what talent we have in our club. Seeing the younger ones look up there it's you can see in them that they will expire to be there um, and they're a great support for us. They're always there, they're clapping, cheering for Lisbon ladies, no matter what the scoreline is. Um, and I think it does give them sort of pathway for the next generation. They know they can play at that level. I do feel quite proud to be putting on the blue shirt, especially coming from Lisbon because I'm representing our the local club and the town, the city itself, and then for all the young girls in Lisbon, they're able to look up and know that there is a team that they can go to and for like a role model for them. So then um, I do feel quite proud of that. With football and especially Lisbon 80s, it has kept me quite grounded over the years from a teenager. Um, I think because there's times where I could have ended up not playing football, but the team itself and the, the management and the players around it that's been there from the start has kept me in it when times haven't went my way. Um, so I definitely am really grateful for the club and really grateful to be playing football still.